So for those of you who know me or who have seen some of my previous videos, you know I'm in Valdez just for the snow. I wanted to see what it's like to live in the snowiest city in the U.S. just for one winter. And we're about halfway through the winter. They've had 109 inches of snow so far this year. The average is about 127 inches, so we're still not caught up. And over the next three months, there should be, on average, another 177 inches. So by the end of March, we'll see if we get over 300 inches for this winter. So last week, I put up the videos for Wasilla and Nick River. And Wasilla was just a small town. I call it a mini city. I think Wasilla is a good place to live if you don't want to live remote. But if you don't want to live in a big city like Anchorage or Fairbanks, because Wasilla has pretty much everything you need. And it's a easier life there, I think, than in some of the remote towns that I visited. Now, what I was told by a couple of people in Wasilla is that they didn't really like living there anymore because they said several years ago, many people from Anchorage who wanted to get away from the big city all came to Wasilla. And now Wasilla has a lot of cars and a lot of people. And after Wasilla, I visited Nick River. And that's a very popular river for people who like to boondock. I know there's a lot of pullouts there. I didn't have enough time to search for the best ones. I pretty much just went to the first one I found. And it was a nice river. It wasn't anything special about it. But I could see it being a really great place to boondock even where we were because there weren't that many people there. And that, of course, is going to change in the summer when there's a lot of tourists stopping by there. But I think there's so many pullouts around the Nick River that no matter what time of the year you go, you're not going to have a problem finding some place to boondock or to camp for the night or a few nights. So that's going to be it for today and hope everybody has a great 2024.